got all the way to the point of editing and realized I didn't have an intro. Hi. How are you doing today? This is the intro. So if you saw the title, you know what I'm attempting to do. I'm going to try to read this stack of books um, in two days. I, I think it's manageable, but because I don't have a lot to do. I have a shower that I have to go to, like a baby shower this afternoon. Um, I need to go grocery shopping to get supplies because I start school next week and I need to have lunches ready. Um, I've got church tomorrow morning and that's about it. Um, I'm sure I'll end up watching Star Trek because my husband and I are trying to watch through Next Generation before Picard comes out. Um, but we're almost finished with season six, so we may finish that this weekend too. So between that, I'm going to try to like knock out all these graphic novels. I am going to reread Fun Home. Uh, mainly just because I want to and because it's been about a year so I should refresh myself on it um and maybe they'll be good I've heard some things about some of his favorites that are on here and um I, it's gonna be graphic graphic novels <laughs> um but I'm gonna go ahead and maybe start a couple of those let it get a little bit brighter outside and I have to film the last video for book to spirit week today too and post that um and I have to edit a video for Monday so I may have more to do than I thought I did, but I can still I can still get some graphic novels read. So I just wrapped up filming the last video for my booktube spirit week stuff. Um, and I'm going to edit that and then I'm going to start on these two books first. I'm going to read uh, Ice Haven and The Death Ray. They're both by Daniel Clowes because I hear that's like my teacher's favorite author so I felt like I'd start with those and then it'll kind of give me an idea of the vibe for everybody else um and then we'll just go from there those are two of the shorter ones too so that works out nicely please don't judge when the Christmas tree is still up we just haven't been home to take it down um I just finished the death ray which was fucking wild um it's about a kid named Andy who has superpowers when he smokes cigarettes there's probably some kind of uh allegorical stuff there and the death ray is the thing he's holding and it can just disappear people from existence and so it's kind of like does he use it when does he use it why does he use it um and you can tell it was published like sequentially like in a magazine or some other publication and not like compiled together but it still was one coherent story there's a lot of different art styles in here which was pretty neat um but yeah wild story so i'm going to go to the next daniel Cloud's book ice haven now all right i finished ice haven it's like it's meta. Um, it talks about all these different characters in this small town called Ice Haven. And they're connected in weird ways. Or they're not connected, but it's sort of implied connections. And everybody's going through their own shit. Um, but there's like a comic book critic character. And him talking about like what comics are um, is really interesting to me. Uh, there's also the, <laughs> the guy here with the hat. Um... <laughs> tries to kill himself in his car and his car won't start and <laughs> he's like why is my life such an ordeal and I was like uh mood uh that's not really good he ends up not not killing himself um but that one I like that one better than death ray um but this is a weird writer so don't know I don't know what I'm gonna read next um I'm gonna go look at the pile I think it's gonna be safari honeymoon which I know nothing about Junji Ito vibes, anyone? Yikes. I know I haven't moved through all three of these clips, but Safari Honeymoon is also done. This one was super short and wild. Um, it has got some interesting art. Um, I really liked it, though. It reminds me of stuff you would doodle for fun, and you just create monsters in the side of your, like, margins. Um, but it was really quick, and I think it was a pretty good story. Like, I think the point of it was pretty good. Um, so I don't know what I'm going to read next because I have to go to the baby shower soon. Uh, so I have to pick kind of what I'm going to read after that. Just checking in. I have not read another graphic novel yet because I went to the baby shower. Um, and I went to pick up my boy from my mom's house because it's his fifth birthday. Yeah. His fifth birthday today. So he got to run around with my sister's dog and my mom's dog. And, um, I'm working on a blanket now for my grandma, and I don't know if I'll get another book read tonight, but maybe, maybe it's time for food now, isn't it? Time for dinner? 
Is it time for dinner? It's time for dinner. <laughs> Good morning. Um, I don't have a video from last night. I finished The City of Glass, um, which is like a graphic novel interpretation of a novel called City of Glass, which I may have to look up and read because it really is interesting. Um, I'll go in more detail on that one later because I don't have to hold up. Um, but I'm at church this morning. It's Sunday now, and I brought 100 demons with me because I thought that was funny. Um, I think I'm going to try to knock that one out this morning so I can read Killing and Dying later. Um, but we'll see what I can get done. So I've come to the realization that I'm not going to get this done the way I want to. Um, and I need to just accept it. I have finished all but Fun Home and Watchmen. And Fun Home is a reread, so I was going to go ahead and put that off. But Watchmen is just, it's going to take me the whole week. So I think that I will give myself the week to finish Watchmen before I wrap up this video. But I did finish everything else but Watchmen. So I read City of Glass last night. And it's a graphic novel retelling of a book by Paul Auster. Auster. Um, and this guy basically gets mistaken for a detective. And he tries to like protect this guy and find his dad. And he kind of loses his mind in the process. It's a lot. There's a lot more than that. But that's basically the gist of it. It's hard to summarize a graphic novel. Um, the one I read this morning was 100 Demons. This was really good. It's basically uh, Linda Berry taking things that happen in her life and making them kind of humorous or poignant or telling us a little bit about herself um, through these images. And I thought it was really nice. Uh, Killing and Dying by Adrian Tomine was also really good. It was like five smallish, smallish stories. Um, I wish I could show you like some of the art. Like he's really good. The art is really nice and clean and fun in here. Not like clean like you know, like the genre or whatever. But anyway, it was funny because someone at church saw me with the, the book and they asked, oh, you're reading a graphic novel. Is it like one of those novels? And I'm like, no, it's not. But I have read a lot of swearing and seen a lot of asses and I have only read one chapter of Watchmen, so I just can't wait. Um, but anyway, I think that's where I'm going to have to stop for tonight because I've got to get ready for school tomorrow and I think we're going to watch Star Trek um, before we go to bed tonight so I'm not going to have time to finish Watchmen anyway. But I'm pretty f proud of myself of finishing as much as I did this weekend and hopefully if I can get Watchmen done this week, that'll be one less class I have to do like actual reading for. So I'm going to try to make this quick. Um, I finally finished Watchmen around, is it Thursday? Thursday. This is really, really good. Um, I just, I got really into it. I, I think the art was really gorgeous. And even having watched the movie before, I was still, like, intrigued. And it was uh, funny to me to see how accurate the movie is. Um, I'm definitely going to have to look up the HBO show now because I've heard it's even more and less so. Like, it's really good, but it's not like this. Um, I, the only other book... I haven't read for it is Fun Home, but again, this is a reread for me. I've read this one, and I love it. Um, so I'm looking forward to the class. We've already had some fun comments, but um, what I have read was really, really good. So I'm trying to do this quick and quiet because my husband's cleaning, and I feel awkward. Um, but I hope you guys have enjoyed this video of all these weird graphic novels I had to read. Um, I might do a more in-depth video at the end of the semester once I learn what the heck he wants me to learn about these novels. Um, but definitely read Watchmen. Um, out of, out of all of these, Fun Home and Watchmen were like the best. Um, but anyway, <laughs> that's my graphic novel read through for the week.